Good morning, Calvary Lutheran School. We're coming to you uh, today from the, the guest room of the Trammell House here. Um, one way or another, we're going to be having chapel every week, and we're glad that this week that you are able to join us for a couple of minutes of praise and a couple of minutes to, to dig into your relationship with God and to find ways that we're able to love God and to show that love of God to others. Today for chapel, we've got kind of a, a fun part two chapel from a service that we had earlier this year, and, and we'll refresh your memory as we get there. But before we get any further into our service, we want to make sure that we start with a word of prayer. So please join me. Lord, we thank you for giving us um, a way to continue to be together, uh, a way to continue to be together and to learn about you and to worship you. Lord, we pray that today we would be a day where we are able to, to see the ways that you love us and to be a reflection of that love into your world. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent with you. So here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to be. King of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. And I'll never know how much it costs to see sin upon that cross and I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross and I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon that cross and I'll never know how much it cost to see my sin upon that cross. So here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to So you might remember a couple of weeks ago uh, at a chapel that we had before we all went our own separate ways, I gave all of you a challenge. And the challenge that I gave you was pretty simple. It was just to make people stare at me. And I helped you out with this challenge. I, I brought in uh, a couple of different pieces of clothing and I asked for some volunteers and these volunteers each got to pick one piece of clothing to make one outfit that I would wear all day until I went home um, after work was over. And you guys accepted that challenge. And not only did you accept the challenge, but I'm going to say that you succeeded. So here's a picture of the outfit that you put together. And you can't see it all, but I'll, I'll show you uh, from top to bottom what we had here. So here was the, uh, the Viking mask 
or the Viking helmet that you gave me, and then the disguise with the, um, the, the glasses and the plastic nose, and I had the big eyebrows and a mustache. And then moving down, we had the, uh, the Christmas sweater, and then um, we had like the baby onesie Pacers jersey that kind of acted like a bib or an ascot. And then also what you can't see behind this is um, that I had the swim trunks over my khaki pants. And so I had this, this outfit on. I told you I'd wear it all day until I went home and work was done. And part of this was um, every day at lunch, I go home and I eat my lunch and I take my dog for a walk. And that's the picture that you're seeing here. We're out for a walk in the neighborhood and you'll notice that even my dog, Jessup, I'll zoom in as much as I can, she's staring at me. So you guys accepted the challenge and uh, you were successful in getting people to stare at me. Because on this walk, I had the, the garbage man. He stared at me, it was very confused. Multiple of my neighbors stared at me, very confused. Uh, multiple people at school, even that day. Uh, some people were just confused, like, why would I do this? Some people just laughed and you know said, oh, that's Sam, I'm sure he's doing something goofy. Um, but, you know, this walk, this wasn't too bad for me. Even though people looked at me strange and, you know, they stared at me, it was okay because I remembered what we had talked about at chapel that day, which was, we talked about Psalm 139, in which God tells us three things. Um, first, he says that he created us. And because he created us, he knows us. And because of all of this, he says he loves us. We've got a God who created us, who knows us, and loves us. So I walked around on this walk with my dog and people stared at me and I was good because I said, hey, God knows what's under here and he loves it. Now the, the, the challenge for me came the next day because on this day I was good. I was remembering what, what we had talked about in chapel. But then the day after I went and took my dog for a walk and I didn't have any of this on, but it felt like I still had it on because people still stared. People, you know, were looking at me like, oh, isn't that our weird neighbor who, you know, took his dog for a walk with swim trunks and, a, you know, over his pants and, you know, a Viking helmet? And it got me thinking, you know, are there, I'm sure that there are people who walk around every day with um, things that they're self-conscious about, things that they, you know, are stressed about or have anxiety about that none of us can see. And I started wondering, you know, how do, I, how do I treat those people? This got me feeling really self-conscious about myself for a little bit. And I'm sure there are lots of people, even people right now, you're watching thinking, yeah, I've been hanging on to this thing that I'm real self-conscious about. Nobody can see it. Nobody knows it. But it's in there. So I went in and I was reminded of John 13, 35. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Here we're told, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. So if we are able to, just to simply love people, to show love to people, the same love that God has for us, we take that and we show it to other people, that's the sign that people will see, oh, that's, that's a person who follows Jesus. That's a person who knows God, who loves God. That's a person who has loved by God and wants to take that love from God and give it to other people. So I gave you a challenge a couple of weeks ago to make people stare at me. And now I want to give you a second challenge. And it's take the love that God has given you and give that to other people. Give it to them regardless of how they look. Give that love to people regardless of how good they are at uh, sports or games or activities, how smart they are. Whatever it is, because there are people who are carrying around some things that we can't see. And they're having some, some struggles with it. And these are the people who, who need to experience the love that we have. The same love that God gives us, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give that love right back to other people. So again, that's your new challenge for today. Take the love that God has given you and give it back out to somebody else. Please fold your hands and pray with me. Lord, we thank you for the great love that you have for us. Lord, you love us 
despite all of the, the, the issues that we have, despite our sin. Lord, you can see everything that's within us and you love us. Lord, we can't know the struggles that everybody else has. We pray that today, moving forward, we would begin to take that love that you give us and that we would give it right back out to others in your world. All of this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. It's so unusual, it's frightening. You see right through the mess inside me And you call me out to pull me in You tell me I can start again And I don't need to keep on hiding I'm fully known And loved by you, you won't let go It's not one or the other It's hard truth and ridiculous grace to be known Fully known and loved by you I'm fully known and loved by you It's so like you to keep pursuing It's so like me to go astray You guard my heart with your truth The kind of love that's bulletproof And I surrender to your kindness I'm fully known And loved by you You won't let go No matter what I do And it's not one or the other hard truth and ridiculous grace to be known fully known and loved by you i'm fully known and loved by you how real how wide how rich how high is your heart i cannot find the reasons why you give me so much how real how wide how is your heart I cannot find the reasons why you give me so much I'm fully known and loved by you you won't let go no matter what I do and it's not one or the other it's hard truth and ridiculous grace to be known fully known and loved by you I'm fully known and loved by you it's so unusual it's frightening I'm fully known and loved by you good morning Calvary Christ is risen he is risen indeed. Alleluia. We make our beginning in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who are you? This is how we begin each day with our morning announcements following Easter. We thank God for the promise of the resurrection and the hope that is ours. We have many, many birthdays to announce for the week of April 17th through the 23rd. On the 18th of April, Jackson in our 8th grade celebrates a birthday, along with Evan in 1st grade. On the 19th, Oliver Moore will celebrate his birthday. Oliver's in our kindergarten. Christopher in our 454 day class also celebrates his birthday on April 19th. On the 21st of April, Ethan in 8th grade celebrates his birthday. And John in 4th grade on the 19th on the 21st celebrates his birthday. Kylie in fifth grade will celebrate her birthday on the 22nd. Jimmy in seventh grade celebrates his birthday on the 23rd of April along with Claudia. Claudia is in our kindergarten. A very happy birthday to those being celebrants next week. Have you begun your bullying prevention poster yet? 
Again, the theme for this year is absolutely not, no bullying allowed. The materials are in the gym on a limited basis or use whatever paper products you have in your home. Drop off and pick up procedures each week will be updated. As we continue with our remote instruction, there is less and less to be picked up. We will have a 24-hour weatherproof box out by the gymnasium entrance for those desiring to drop off schoolwork at your convenience. These weekly video announcements will be aired following the chapel lesson for the day, for the week, so be sure to continue tuning in to the chapels each week. And I enjoyed viewing with third grade this past week on the Zoom, a math lesson on perimeter and area. Job well done. It was wonderful to see and to connect with our third graders. Again, God's blessings to you this Easter as our hope is found in Him. Have a great weekend.